Xtool has recently started to upgrade their product lineup. They have done it with the D7, introducing the D7S, and now they're doing it on the D8, introducing the D8S. The D8 and the D8S are entry-level diagnostic tools, something that is meant to give you a taste of the more expensive D9 or X100 at a fraction of the price in a smaller form factor, something that is still capable of doing advanced key coding, mileage correction, EEPROM reading and writing, and allowing you the capability of doing visual inspection using the X-Tool endoscope. Both of them are quite capable diagnostic tools. And in this video, we're trying to see side by side what are the differences and trying to decide which one is worth the money or which one is better for you to get. We judge them on the screens, both of them, or we compare them on the screens. Both of them are running the same size, eight inch CPU, both of them four core, 1.8 gigahertz. The first difference will be the RAM, two gigabytes versus four. The ROM is the same, 64 versus 64. And now we have the big difference, which is the operating system. On the D8, we have something that I would say it's a relic. We have Android 5.1.1. I don't know that that Android still exists, but apparently it does. With the classic X2 layout, that one has been upgraded on the S version to Android 10 and the new X tool visual interface, the new layout. More modern, apparently with the same capability. Batteries, both of them are the same, but keep in mind that the battery doesn't really matter because you will be using these diagnostic tools connected to the vehicle. The camera, or both of them are featuring a camera, very similar. Both of them are running CAN FD, and although not clearly specified, I would say that both of them have DOIP. Both of them are giving you the topology view, and both of them have the same capability when it comes to data logging. Their capability regarding data logging is something that I've covered in the review of the D7. Quite a useful tool for that. Now, some things that you need to know regarding these diagnostic tools. Although on paper, they're God sent, they're able to do everything and anything. In reality, I would say that you have a 80-20 chance for, for achieving what you want. Diagnostics, they're capable units, they will do it. Um, data logging, they will do it. When it comes to resets and special functions, that is where that fudge factor of 80-20 comes to play. By testing the D7 on the BMW F10, I've noticed that sometimes you need to find all sorts of other ways of achieving a result and you will be having the same function in different places under different names. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Usually, the software eventually allows you to do that thing that you want to do, but it doesn't give you the same level of understanding and control as the OEM manufacturer specific tools. So keep in mind that these tools will be a good starting point, a good help, but will not be the solution to all of your problems. Okay, you know the dark side of these di diagnostic tools. Now let's try to decide if the difference in capability, so two gigabytes of RAM versus four, and the older layout versus the new layout is convincing you to spend the difference in money. Both of them are available on all the shopping platforms, so AliExpress, eBay, and Amazon, because the D8S is so new right now, I'm able to find it, or I was able to find it only on AliExpress. Don't fear AliExpress because based on the way that Xtool is selling their products, although you're buying it from AliExpress, they will be shipping it from a local warehouse. So you don't need to wait ages and you don't need to pay additional tax. And at the end of the day, you're getting it at the price that you see it on AliExpress rather than the most or the more expensive versions on eBay or Amazon. These two diagnostic tools 
with the price difference between them make them quite a hard decision when when it comes to to buying them me personally i would go for the d8 because the additional price is not justified based on the additional capability i would also be tempted of not even getting the d8 and getting the d7 because it does the same things from a diagnostic point of view at a fraction of the price if you want to go one step higher rather than getting the d8 i would be tempted of going for the d9 or even waiting for the moment that they will be introducing the d9s and getting the d9 when the d9 will be discounted now this is my view on these diagnostic tools i hope that it helps let me know your experience with them Hopefully you get some insight. If you want to work with me on different projects or you have ideas for future videos, get in contact using our social media or our website. Thank you for watching and this is where we end this video.